What's really good? We back with the boxing clinic and more back on the boxing grind. A lot of boxing today. When other channels slowing down, we turning up. Y'all know we do. Um, and uh, let's start off here. Well, only place to start off. Eddie Hearn reveals that um, Tyson Fury lied down the gauntlet on him with his offer for to fight Anthony Joshua. Said he wants the 60-40 split. What are our champion benefits? Name on the poster first. Walk second. I mean, yada dee, yada da. And uh, Eddie Hearn said that, uh, you know, you know, what if you don't come back the way you, you know, we thought you can come back. You know, you, you think you can come back and your, your market value drop or whatever. And, um, you know, Tyson Fury said, look here, man, you know, open your ears and open your eyes and shut your mouth. That boy, Anthony Joshua, is where he at is because of me. He said, I fell off. I cheated, but I'm back now. And I'm back to take back what's mine, and I ain't gonna get caught cheating this time. And I'm gonna put it on the my and on the bodybuilder. Mm. <laughs> and uh, Eddie Hearn said at that moment, you know, I paraphrase, I I play, I know, I put my own twist on that, obviously. But um, you know, uh, Eddie Hearn said I realized he was dead ass serious, and he said, you know, this dude is a joke, you know, and he's in the process of trying to sign in this guy to match room, and um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know. You know how you know Eddie Hearn was thinking. He was thinking more of a sixty forty and Anthony Joshua split with all the champion benefits going to Anthony Joshua, and Tyson Fury telling him like I'm still that guy, you know. And even when athletes um, they lose it, they still always got that mentality that I'm still that guy. I'm still the number one guy until proven otherwise. And that's what Tyson Fury at with it. And we know Eddie Hearn is a shrewd negotiation. Him and Anthony Joshua was playing hardball with people. They shorten people out. And Tyson Fury, he ain't going to let that happen. Fury turn around and get in shape and fight Deontay Wilder. And if he beats Deontay Wilder, he's going to put some, or Wilder beats him. That's going to be even more pressure on Anthony Joshua to come with a correct deal for one of them, you know. Because at the end of the day, you know, Eddie Hearn, you know, he ain't going to get Tyson Fury. You know, now if he can promise him that 60-40 split versus Joshua, then um, he might have a better shot at it. But I got a feeling he going back to Hennessy Sports. Um... But, you know, and, you know, people, people, he act like, you know, Eddie Hearn act like, and, and, you know, Anthony Joshua was just this Muhammad Ali, Floyd Mayweather guy where they can get 80, 20 splits and 70, 30 splits on guys. God saying F that. Okay. I know I'm, I'm, I'm not going to make that in my next fight, but you ain't going to shortchange me. And I'm not going to make you guys no, no money. You know, like Indiana take water, like F them when they ready to come to the table. Correct. I live my life and I fight Ortiz and wherever I got to fight in America at, at a point, they're going to have to come see me. You know, because they ambitious is to unify the belts. And um, Tyson Fury ain't playing no roles as well. He wants, you know, he wants his 60-40. Um, it's a big fight. But, you know, Eddie Wright, what if you ain't what you thought you was going to be? You know, what if the weight don't come off? You know, what if you go out there and get knocked out by Tony Bellew by some miracle way? What if, you you know, you lose your comeback fight? You seen the Gale come back and it didn't go good for him. He lost his title. So, I feel Eddie on that. Um, Tyson is being unrealistic, to be honest. But at the end of the day, you know, he feels that it's his division still. And he got to prove that. He got to go out there and prove his market worth and go, be, you know, tune up, a couple tune-ups and be some prominent guys out there. You know, but I got a feeling that this Fury and Deontay Wilder fight is going to happen before Fury and Joshua and Wilder and Joshua. Um, some people on my page believe that Joseph Parker is going to upset Anthony Joshua which would probably be the single greatest thing for the heavyweight division right now. You know, because I think Joshua, I think uh, Parker is willing to more mix it up with Fury and um, Wilder than Joshua is at this point. But that, I mean, you know, then he can win those titles and then, you know, <laughs> Parker could switch up and start offering 70, 20, 70, 30, 80, 20 splits. So I don't put that past nothing, but if Fury's the man's unrealistic, absolutely at this point. You know, he got to prove that he can come back. He got to get his license back first. Prove that he can come back. Prove that he can lose the weight, win some tune-ups, and win a prominent fight. And then he can come talk that 60-40-ish to Eddie Hearn. We gone.